who tries to stop Christmas by stealing all the Christmas things. The Grinch. <laughs> and he's like, da, da, da. Guys, it's Megan and Kayla. Back again. Back at it again with another Makeup and Mukbangs episode. <laughs> Today, we're going big. We're going to our favorite place on earth. Happiest place on earth. Starbucks. We always start every episode with Starbucks, but today we said, why not make the whole episode Starbucks at Obviously. the best time of the year? Red cup season. Hashtag red cup season. We're gonna go get, not our favorite holiday beverage, nope. actually the barista's favorite holiday beverage. Try new things. And some of our favorite holiday treats yes. on the menu. And we'll see. And. She's, Kayla's gonna try my favorite holiday sandwich, which is like that turkey. I obviously can't eat it anymore, but it was the turkey like holiday stuffing. It's basically like holiday leftovers in some bread. It makes no sense to me to have bread and bread, but whatever. Kayla's gonna we'll try see. it. We'll see what it is. So should we go get the holiday stuff? Absolutely. Let's go do it. What are we ordering? I don't even know. I wasn't ready. Hi. How's it going? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Good. Bye. We have like a big order, if that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, can we start with a grande uh, chai tea latte with lactose three milk, five pumps of chai, and no okay. water. It's a grande quad blonde espresso on ice. Now, can I ask a favor of you? Yeah. Can you create us two of your favorite holiday drinks? Like just your choice, grande size? Okay. And one of them coffee based and one of them not coffee based. Really coffee based. The um, holiday sandwich. I don't know what it's called. Like, you mean holiday. The turtles here. Mm. You're wild. Bag is secured. Bag has been secured. We have our safety drinks. Cheers. Safety drinks. And then we got our holiday drinks. Head home. Yep. Back to the studio. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try. And Kayla's gonna eat a sandwich. I just don't believe that a carb on carb sandwich is gonna be good. It's it's the stuffing for me. <laughs> this is also the stuffing for me. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll see, see you at the studio. Home. And we're back. We are back. We got the goods. We got holiday drinks, holiday treats. A snowman got messed up. Yeah, it got melted a little bit. But that's okay. <clears throat> it's holiday time. What's the most festive makeup look you can think of? A red lip obvi. Red lip obvi. So Kayla and I are gonna just create a red lip. Show you our red lip technique. Mm -hmm. Not there's much to it. Nope, <laughs> not at all. I wanna, John holiday. I wanna dive into the drinks. Brista, what did you do? Don't let me down. Grande Caramel Brulee Latte. So I actually don't think that I've tried this one. Give her a sniff. And yours? Oh, I got a peppermint hot chocolate is what this is. So cute. Cheers. Cheers. That is rich. I mean, I like it because it's actually not overly sweet. I don't want to try. <laughs> I always think I want to try Megan's drinks, but. I don't taste any coffee in that. What? I don't taste any coffee in that. I just taste You're like- You're lying. Okay. It literally smells like an ashtray. <laughs> okay, it tastes different than it smells. Mm. It's a little bit sweeter than it smells. It does smell like an ashtray. <laughs> I told you, it smells like coffee and cigarettes. Do you want to taste how rich this is? Oh my God, you're going to die. It's like just pure sugar. That smells so good though. It's literally Christmassy. <laughs> I taste that and I could Shut never. <laughs> She's cute. Should I try this disgusting sandwich? Yes. Open it up. Show the people. Let me tell you about it. It's got tur that looks like the bad side. It's <laughs> what got What do you mean the bad side? That is the side. There's it's no got nothing else. It has a gravy aioli, turkey, cranberry sauce, and fucking stuffing on this like mm, crostini. <laughs> go, go, crustini. go, go.
I don't taste the gravy at all. It's nothing. It really does taste like Christmas dinner. And it's not terrible. <laughs> yes. I just don't believe that a carb on carb sandwich is gonna be good. If y'all like traditionally eat cranberry sauce either. So I'm not surprised because I love cranberry sauce. So that would mean that you do not. No, I don't. I don't think I've had the cranberry bliss bar. I don't like it because it's quite sweet. Really? Oh, I like the texture right off the bat. Is it supposed to be this soft? I thought it was hard. No, it's soft. <gasps> Whoa. Mmm. What's on the top? Cream cheese icing. Oh, shit. Mmm. That texture. Oh. Let's do some lip. Are you good? Yeah. Are you good? <laughs> red lip 101, don't have any chunks. Mm. Like what was your first red lip? I grew up competitively dancing. <gasps> so this is true, so Russian <laughs> red. Well, I think when I was teaching, that's when I got all my kids to buy Mac because I was like, well, no cover girl <laughs> dancing for me. Thing with red lip, I always had this like aversion because anytime I wore it, it reminded me of being on stage. Mm. So when I started working in makeup, I like refused to wear red lip. You're like, because it like PTSD. Yeah. So I was just like, I can't wear this. Yeah. And then, so I think the first one I tried in store was Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. Mine was mm. Ladybug because I wanted like an introduction. So I was oh. sold Ladybug with Spice Lip Liner. Two days I was like, I need more red. <laughs> like I found out that Lady Gaga wore MAC red. And I think I did MAC red with like cherry liner. And then I literally only wore red lipstick Exclusively. forever. Can, wait, can I eat some of the sandwich now? Yeah, take the turkeys off. So literally cranberry sauce and stuffing. And gravy paste. And gravy paste. Mm, that's is the only- still good without the turkey? No, yeah, it's fine. It's okay. the same. What? The only thing with this one is like the textures. It's thick as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's like paste in your mouth. <laughs> like eating peanut butter. <laughs> literally. So we're both starting off with a liquid lip. I'm using Feel So Grand. I'm using a discontinued baby as I do in retrograde. Oh, I like to go in right with, do you kind of line the edges first or do you fill the surface the area? Center. Yeah, same. Yeah, just get it in there and just do as much of this big ass lip as you can. Mm -hmm. And then I transfer it up. Mm -hmm. Are we doing makeup the same for once no, in For once, lives? yeah. And then I like to use the edge. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go up to the top lip and I do that a little more perfected first. This applicator, because it's mm -hmm. like pointy bit, is the bomb. It's so easy to get like to the edge of the lip and just create the perfect. When you want to like line the lip, it should yeah. be facing down to the inside corner and you round up like this because it creates the curve that you want your upper lip to have. Yeah. So while Kayla just keeps doing her thing. As I do. <laughs> I have a lipstick from House Labs. That was their holiday lipstick last year. Nice because it's a little bit deeper of a red. Like it's more crimson. It's not as bright as mine, yeah. Cute. How can we how can we elevate elevate this? I mean, I like that yours is sparkly, but I think it can be sparklier. Is that a word? Sparklier? Spar it is now. It is now. Gorgeous. We have Ooh. an old school red. I have Ruby. We have golds. I definitely <laughs> want to do a mixture. <clears throat> it's not perfect yet. Maybe I'll try a cookie. So my cookie is the best. Mm. It's almost like if you were, like wanted a chocolate bar, but like not. Yeah. Enough. The textures of these things are like 10 out of 10. Right? As like perfect as these applicators are, sometimes I mess up. So I just like to use a little concealer. I can yeah. like I could check. What are we gonna apply this glitter with? I have my trusty clear brow gel. I'm gonna eat some, yeah. Thanks. It sucks that you put this on my right hand because I'm right-handed, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's gonna be 
so festive. Oh! <laughs> and like no fallout. Mm -hmm. You need to push it so it melts into the lipstick. Yeah. And like putting that creamy lipstick on top is probably helping you. Mm -hmm. I should probably do that. I want to put some gold. Something about a glitter lip. You're both using a 242? Yes. Oh. oh no, I'm using a 248. They're like same, same, but different. They're paddle brushes, but they're very flat. Especially if you have full lips like us. Like, I can't use a lip brush because it would take me 10 years to fill up my lips. Oh, I hate, no. You know what I mean? We don't do a lip we brush. We don't do that. It's faster to like put stuff down and clean it up than yeah. to perfect as you go. I love her. Sexual glitter on should we do a glittery cake pot yes cheers, cheers. oh rocking around <laughs> on the christmas tree <laughs> we wanted to do holiday trivia the song frosty the snowman what made frosty come to life came to life one day there must have been some magic in that old <laughs> silk get here faster oh it's old silk hat they found and when they placed it on his head he began to dance around hey <laughs> per a recent holiday fad what spy hides around the house reporting back to santa on who's been naughty and nice Elf on the shelf yes baby what did the other reindeer not let rudolph do because of his shiny red nose he didn't let him do something specifically yeah can i have a clue is it in a song yeah, it's, it's just the Rudolph song. And you're like, oh, join in any reindeer games! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. There's so much candy cane on the floor. <laughs> I know I hear her. According to the song, what did my true love give to me on the eighth day of Christmas? Eight maids of milking? Yes! So fast! I didn't know this. Okay. What popular Christmas song was actually written for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Google, we never even asked you! She's like these bitches. In the movie Elf, mm -hmm. how does favorite. Buddy get to the North Pole? How does Buddy get to the North Pole? Mm -hmm. Oh, in Santa's sack. Correct. What's your one takeaway for doing a red lip for the people? Like starting more in the center and then pushing the product towards the edges rather than trying to line it. Yes, never There's starts. There's opportunity for error. Yeah. Surface area, once you cover that, your eye will be able to clearly see where you need to like draw a line. Fill in. Yeah. Um, versus you being like, what's the size of my lips? I see that the internet draws them all up here. <laughs> All right, guys, those were our red lip tips. This is our second last episode of season one. Just season one. We'll be back. We'll be back. Hope you guys have a really happy holiday. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. If you like what you saw, make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. And hit that subscribe button. Show for both support. of us. Yes. Remember, we post on both of our channels. We yes. don't spend a minute, but. See you at the season finale. Bye, guys. Until next time. Oh. Is that saliva or my hair? <laughs> it could go either way. <laughs> the corner is so hard. <laughs> okay, guys, it's very good. The corners were really crusty. I told you, it, it sat too mm -hmm. long. It was saliva. <laughs>